Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's your boy Cam Cowboy here with another video. Today we're talking about Iron Throne Update version 4.0.0. Now ladies and gentlemen, if you're coming from Guns Glory, I'm doing some heavy recruiting because Iron Throne version 4 is a huge brand new update. It's amazing. I'm going to start a brand new account and Kingdom 53 that's going to come out with this update. So... Let's get an alliance going together. All right, so hit me up in the DMs, okay? Any of the ways in the description below, we'll start an alliance. And this is a brand new kingdom. And this brand new kingdom is going to have pretty much a completely different player experience as described to me by the developers. It's brand, you know, just it's a completely new kingdom with a brand new update. But they say it's going to be completely different from any other kingdom. So if you're in an old kingdom, if you're in Kingdom 15, you want to restart just to see what this is like. I'm going to start up an alliance, maybe two alliances too. So hit me up in any of the descriptions, in any of the ways in the description below. And uh, we'll have a play test, a little focus group going for this. But let's go ahead and talk about what all is going to be different. So first off, dimensional battle, completely different play style so i can't actually see what it's like because one we're down for maintenance for this new update for the next eight hours but i've also never played it but it looks like we're going to be utilizing tokens we can choose our troop types and they kind of limit us but then we can also walk in with our special um research ability special abilities so it looks like we're also getting a couple new uh, special troops that can be unlocked through research as well. We can have a total of four heroes. We can choose where they go. And it's just kind of changing how Dimensional Battle and the Arena will work. And the Arena does have some great rewards. And they're actually increasing the rewards that you get out of it. So it's actually going to, you know, it's going to incentivize you to play it because it's just a whole bunch more uh, rewards for playing. Story mode has also been improved and they're upgrading hero upgrade materials have been added i'm not entirely sure what that means but we'll figure it out once we get in there but hero uh looks like there's some more information basic token of heart so it looks like you can go ahead and upgrade your heroes um oh for this is solely for story mode okay so that's good to hear that's not going to be like a brand new thing that you have to go out and buy it's something you could probably do free to play challenge mode removed and stage entry limit introduced so to let Pretty much they gave you some pretty bad rewards if you spent silver and did challenges of uh, dimensional battles that you've already completed. Um, so that's interesting that they're getting rid of some extra free rewards on a daily basis. Dimension point used to enter dimensional battle. So basically it's kind of like a new stamina type um, for dimensional battle alone. Duel. A new real-time PvP content has been added. So it's essentially... Uh, the arena, they're just changing it to dual, so it's the same thing, but on this new uh, type, like on the new way that they're going to be having dimensional battles, and the rewards for this are getting better, because now we're getting war coins, we can choose how we want to spend it. Now they're adding a new season, which comes with more rewards, and probably a new hero that we can get out of doing this. Definitely a new hero. Uh, Khan, right there. Yeah. Um... And I believe he's a cavalry hero, so this is good. Get us an extra hero that we can utilize for cavalry if you want to have a fourth cavalry hero for whatever reason. Or... As well as finally getting a gathering set. Yes. Um, well, I'm pretty sure there are gathering sets, but this is going to be... A Only pay-to-play. Only pay-to-play gathering sets. There are no free-to-play currently in-game, for unfortunately. So this is going to be the first free-to-play gathering set for the game. Okay. And they're also uh, changing the cost of food, which is nice because I'm always out of silver. So I'm glad that now I can spend food instead because I always have a surplus of food. But it does seem like it gets pretty expensive for spending food. Um, conditions for unlocking town mode epic quests have been changed. Basically, you just have to be a certain citadel level. Extremely easy. You could accomplish that within one night. Um, an additional construction tool. Yes. You can now have multiple constructions going at the same time. Uh, this is something I've been waiting for, dying for, so I'm extremely glad for this. Now, 
upgrade hammer combined function. So now you can finally upgrade hammers up to whatever level you need. So if you have a whole bunch of low level upgrade hammers and want to get them back up to immortal for your higher gear sets, you can now do so. That's awesome. But I'm struggling to find a reason why I would ever want to utilize upgrade hammers because it's way too expensive. Especially on level 30 and 40 gear, you don't want to utilize upgrade hammers. It's just not worth it. Um, now you can also do contracts. So basically you can choose a contract that gives you a special uh, buff. And you have to wait one week before you can change your contract to a different contract. But basically we can go attack, defense, health, debuff. We'll have to figure out which one's the best. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be debuff though. I'm thinking that debuff might be the way to go for a contract. But we'll have to wait and see. Now let's go ahead and go over to part two and uh, take a look at this. So now there's Capital War rules improvements. Basically, Capital War is a lot shorter. If you lose and you suck at it, uh, like RSA Alliance, then uh, you're not going to be able to have the capital. Shots fired. Um, yeah, then there's also going to be a Sanctuary and Capital War. So there's two separate wars. Now what I'm thinking from Sanctuary War... Correct me if uh, anyone got a different idea from this, but I'm assuming you know when it flashes and you can get 50,000 gold when you hold a sanctuary. Well, I feel like all the sanctuaries will be flashing all at once, and just a race to see which alliances can hold one of those sanctuaries. And your allies who are blue on your board um, will go ahead and be able to give you an attack buff if they are also holding a sanctuary, this, and uh, you'll give them an attack buff if you hold a sanctuary. Now, something that we're taking away from both of these is all troops are going to be wounded now until your hospital capacity is reached and then they'll die like normal rather than just outright dying. And they are also giving you a healing speed boost as well, but it is also capped at 90%. Um, battlefield improvements. So we'll have to go ahead and take a look as to what this balance balancing act is going to do for us. Um... But basically what it is saying is low-level castles cannot be attacked. Um, there is a 16-level uh, difference, so you have to be within those 16 levels in order to attack a certain person. Hero equipment and research improvements. So basically your rewards are going to be increased a lot. Chaotic white gear is finally going to be useful for something. Uh, gladiator equipment is going to be lowered so that anyone can utilize gladiator gear as it awfully should be. And then level 40 gear is going to be cheaper to craft, which is awesome because I have a whole lot of pieces that I like to craft and never really have enough silver to be able to do so. And then um, you can now upgrade hero sets of equipment at level 20. So this is going to be more of our economy and world sets, uh, not our PvP sets. And then they're pretty much just blocking off some of the research until you unlock it. Um, and then a couple different improvements here and there. Overall, I'm super excited for this update. I really am. So, hopefully it turns out really well. We'll see how it goes. But Kingdom 53 is going to be a brand new experience for everyone joining in. So, I'm going to be joining in on that. And I want to start up an alliance, so don't forget to hit me up if you want to start playing Iron Throne or if you want to restart Iron Throne into a new kingdom. We'll get together. I'll hook you all up. We'll get into the Iron Throne playtest, and we'll have a great time. So I'll link the well, I'll link the uh, update announcements so you can do your own research and look into it, but this is just the basic gist of it. So thank you all for watching. This is Kem Cowboy.